Hi, welcome back to 6 Guitars Electric Bass Series. I went ahead and marked the layout on my two pieces, and I'm going to show you these here. Um, I just did a basic kind of Fender style layout with a couple of horns on it. You know, nothing, nothing too fancy, just kind of a standard classic shape. Um, here's the other one here. Yeah, you can kind of trying to rotate it there so you can kind of see the see the design all the way around it. Um, I did the upper so that way my my upper horn comes all the way over to the 12th fret so that way I have good balance. So when you're when you're playing the instrument, it's not going to be neck heavy and drag you down. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these over to the bandsaw, and I'm going to cut just outside of the line, trace it all the way around, and I'm going to try to save as much of this outer portion as possible, as much as, as much of the cutoff as possible, because I'm going to come back and put that on it again when I clamp it together. I'm going to use it as a clamping call, so I have a nice straight edge. Um, I've seen that done before. I've never done it on electric before. I'm going to take a look at it. I only really have two of the really long bar clamps, so they're going to make it across this thing. So, I mean, at worst case scenario, you know, if that doesn't work out too well, I know I've got a couple of 12s that'll make it in here and a couple of the big 24s that'll get down here on the other side. So, I might do it without, but either way, I'm going to save it just to make sure, you know, in case I need it. Um, and I'm also going to save some of these other offcuts because later on we're going to turn some knobs on the lathe. Instead of having those big silver ones, we're going to have matching to the top knobs. So, I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and I'm going to get these cut out. And then, and I'm doing this importantly, there's actually, I'm doing this before I glue them on there. The reason I'm doing that is because all these little cracks and crevices in here, you know, the hard kind of stuff to get into with the sander where you're sitting there forever, unless you have a, an oscillating drum sander, which I don't, all that stuff is going to take forever for me to sand. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy out, and while I don't have a neck in the way, I'm going to get in there at all these cracks right on the end of the belt sander, and that'll get in there and that'll smooth them out really nice for me. So I have to really come in and do final sanding after that. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and take them and cut them, and then I'm going to sand them, and I'll probably bring them back and show you what that looks like right after that. Here's what the pieces look like that they're all cut out. That's my bottom half. And that's my top half. And if I can get this all up together, that's what it'll look like with the neck in the middle. I mean, my spacing and everything. Um, it's a good size. It's going to be a little bit smaller than like a Fender, um, but it'll be a, you know about the size of some of the more slimline bases out there. And I like that. It's an easier piece of wood to carry around, especially if you're standing up and playing, and a little bit easier to sit and play as well. And it'll still be nice and big and resonant. And, but yeah, it's starting to look pretty nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pieces over to the belt sander, and get all this refined away, get all my sides profiled really, really nice, um, so they're nice and smooth. And then we should be able to glue it all together. And actually, I may even come back with my roundover bit to do most of this while it's away from the guitar. Um, then I can do some carving on it too, you know, once I get it glued up together. But that's the body. That's what the two of them look like without anything in the middle of it. But that's going to be about the spacing when it has the neck in there. So over to the belt sander to clean all this up and get it nice and straight before the neck's attached to there and it's just too much of a pain and too big to move around. All right, that's going to wrap up the body for now. Um, took it over to the sander, sanded the ends real nice, so we're all nice and smooth, no more saw marks. And all I did was I took the, the top part of my belt sander and just started running it over just like this. You know, make sure you keep it straight, you know, so you're not off and you wind up with a big angle on there. You want to keep it 90, but just kind of rocking it across, getting rid of all those marks. You know, there's still a few little spots where there's some facets and stuff like that, but not very much. I'll be able to get those out after I run the router around it. But that's that one. There's the other guy. Same story. Nice and smooth all the way around. And this should be once that, uh, once that neck dries and the veneer on the headstock dries. I'll go ahead and bring that out. We should be able to get these guys attached. And I go from there. I've decided not to route these right now. And the reason being is I don't know how close I want to get you know, to the neck on some of these spots here. I mean, I suppose I could go most of the way around it, actually, and kind of get around. So, you know, but just for, you know, just so I don't have too much round and I've got enough surface to clamp, I'm going to go ahead and hold off on the routing for now. But you can see the book match on that. And that just looks amazing. You know, I almost wish there wasn't a neck running through the middle of it, but, you know, I like the through-the-body neck. So, but yeah, those are going to fit together beautifully. The book match is amazing. I'm really, really happy with this piece of Paduke that I found. And then... So like I said, as soon as we're done, we'll get that loaded up, and I'll bring it out here and we'll get it glued. And right after it's done gluing, we should be ready to start carving it. 